Hello everyone. Got something a little bit different for you tonight. I've just come back home from watching the Barbie movie <laughs> and uh, I didn't really feel like playing anything that I'm already playing on stream and I just kind of wanted to do a one-off. So I figured I would treat you all to seeing Etrian Odyssey HD 2 and this <laughs> adorable little gunner character down here. Some, some good low poly stuff there. Um, so I've beaten the first game, Etrian Odyssey HD 1, and I've started this this game. You might notice that I have a another file that has five hours on it. That's because I fell asleep about five minutes after I loaded this. <laughs> so I did do a little bit of the dungeon, but um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to chat about Barbie, basically, and how, how fun it was. And in the meanwhile, whilst, whilst I do that, I figure we can all enjoy the music of, uh, of this stuff and maybe wander around the ancient forest to Tad. So I don't, I don't know if it's possible to really spoil the movie. I mean, I could tell you it's plot, but I won't. But um, I will say that Barbie is certainly worth watching, I think. Um, I've, I hadn't seen any of it, basically. Um, well, obviously, until I saw, I'm, by that I mean like I hadn't seen any trailers or that kind of thing at all. Um, I'd only seen like a very small clip of like the beach scene where he's talking about beach and all that. And it was quite, quite good, quite enjoyable. As you continue through the depths of the fortune, there's a small wooden sign, a warning written on it, on it to explorers who challenge the labyrinth. Do not disturb the monster in the hall. Your curiosity will be undo your undoing. Seems that one of your predecessors wrote this warning. You cannot grasp its meaning, but you can resolve to keep it in mind as you press onward. They're talking about this foe, I assume. But um, yeah, so without spoiling anything, uh, I laughed a lot while I enjoyed the movie. And it was very funny. There was also like a good amount of things, I think, that are going to offend um, some people probably like people who are overly sensitive on both sides of the aisle it was like it was an extremely like to some extent satirical movie I guess that kind of took the piss out of everything in a light-hearted way while still being serious enough that like you can kind of like Like, if you want deeper meaning, I feel like you can find it. Um, it did have a nice message, I think, at the end overall. And it was a good message. And funny enough, like, it's... The message that the movie has overall that they kind of summarize and fall on is the same message that, like, Barbie's creator wanted to do with Barbie and that's I don't feel like that spoils anything um, as far as what the movie does but lots of laughs really um, a lot of laugh like funny the acting was great both on um, what's her name Margot Robbie I think it's the woman who plays Barbie good acting on her side as well as the uh as well as Ken. So overall, just like a lot of fun movie. Also, hello, Valvis. I was just chatting about the uh, the Barbie movie that I just saw. Which was quite enjoyable, I think. How are you? How goes? Uh, maybe I don't want to have you constantly use magic. You can use a lake shot, though, for fun. I'm probably gonna need to heal Black Rose. Yeah, definitely going to need to heal Black Rose. The only question is, will the heal actually get cast or will I defeat the enemy first? All right. 
Very nice. I've also just realized that most of my parties are blondes. <laughs> I didn't intend for that. It just kind of happened. Mm, I guess I won't. We could heal Orca, but... As you walk, you, gl you catch a glimpse of something shining in a tree just off the path. You crane your neck to see a hole in the tree just above your reach. It's difficult to tell, but it seems that a gleaming jewel is inside the hole. A jewel like that would make a worthy souvenir of this trip. Reach towards it. Black Rose reaches into the hole and gropes around. It seems that a hard jewel-like stone is inside the hole. Black Rose firmly grasps the stone and pulls it from the tree. Tainted gel core. Thanks. Good old Patrick style. Oh, whoops. But uh, yeah, so I would recommend seeing seeing Bobby. It was a lot of fun. And I don't know if I would recommend seeing Barbie and Oppenheimer back to back, though, honestly. Um, that might be a little bit odd. The Hedgehog has higher attack. Let's, let's take him down. Also, let's provoke, I guess. And then assume he's going to get smacked in the face. Damn, didn't work. Did good damage, so I could probably auto my way through the rest of this. Very nice. So yeah, that's that's about it, really. Um, there's probably more to be said about Barbie. Like the <laughs> the acting was good. It was it was very silly and a lot of fun. Um, but rather than continue to prattle on about that, can prattle on perhaps a little bit about this game. Um, so like I said, I played through the first game and quite enjoyed my time with it. And I'm pleasantly surprised at like how similar and different the classes are this time around. So it's interesting to see, um, like my protector, for example, looking forward to getting smite, considering how good smite is or was in the previous game. The TP costs of everything seem to have like taken a drastic toll. Like, um, let me think, I think like the heals, for example, are a good one of that. Like salve two takes up 36. That is insane to me that medium health healing takes nearly 50 TP. I have to imagine that this is going to be compensated by like just a larger TP pool in general, perhaps, because otherwise it seems really absurd. Um, maybe, you know, it's helped along by the fact that healing is, is maybe faster to get. I don't, I don't know. Um, But yeah, it's it's weird. I also don't really know what a force skill is yet. It hasn't been explained to me and it wasn't in the first game. So I don't know how to use healing touch. There is some kind of weird force meter thing, but I am slightly regretting the fact that I chose to go for ice for Sakasa, um, just because so far I've mainly seen the fire and vault weaknesses across the enemies on this first floor. But I don't know, I'm, I'm just a big fan of ice in general. So it is interesting to me to see that we now have like, um, like regular damage type magic, basically, like the like physical damage magic is what this seems like. So it's neat, neat to see. And I'm trying out the gunner because I figured that maybe they would be a good alternative to the survivalist because I didn't want to just go with the same exact party that I had in the first game. I wanted to mix it up, so I figured that there's no way I'm not having a protector. No way I'm not having a land schnick. And, like, gotta have a healer, right? And the war mage wasn't really that appealing to me. 
So, decided to, to go for a gunner. Steel pin. Hmm. Go to Black Rose for now. Not that. And then, maybe you want a steel pin? Also, should I heal Black Rose or? Mm, no, it's fine. Also, do I have a Ariana thread? No, no I don't. You know, I should probably just go back to town and acquire that. Because it's a little bit dangerous to be wandering around this place without that. So since I'm going back to town, I'm just going to be liberal with my TP usage. That's hard. Very nice. I do want to fight that foe, though. Just feels like it's asking to be challenged. <laughs> Alright, stickle whatever. Retrieve mineral. Okay, right. Haven't done that yet. Um. So yeah, let me let me sell you some stuff, I guess. How about this long pin? Yeah, what? Gel core? I hope that the gel core is not for like a quest or anything like that. Kalinga. I could like mix things up a bit with my lanch neck actually. Because I I invested heavily in swords in uh in my original game. Maybe I should go and like use use accents this time or something. It's, I think this is a good investment. Let me actually look at my my skills and stuff first for, for Black Rose. So axe wise, so I'd be missing out on all slash, which would, you know, kind of suck. Um, but axes, death axe, silencer, which binds their head, that could be handy against magic lads. I do like binding things. Um, oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Slow your powerful crushing blow. And X trait. So stunner, I imagine, is like the the best move for them because stunning people is probably really gonna be broken. Um, <laughs> counter physical attacks. When you see this right here, that I want that. It looks like you need both axes and swords at level eight to get counter. So really, I, geez, I want to put both of these at eight then, because I I want two hit and I want counter. Hmm. It's gonna take a while to get there. Like we're we're gonna be level twenty by the time I get that if I just start like investing everything into it. Um. It, mm, this is difficult. I like swords more than I like axes. And all slash definitely feels more useful, though it does look like you can use blazer, freezer, and shocker with axes, which is also quite good. So, life axe correlates to the current HP. As in, more health I have does more damage versus less health you have. That's kind of an interesting way to do this, actually. Huh. Maybe I will do axes, actually. Though, I mean, I dropped <laughs> dropped a ton of stuff into Sword Mastery, so maybe not yet. But, hmm. We'll see.
So I need an Ariana thread, please. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta talk to her first. Show her my permit. Yes. Thanks, lady. Tiny little happy daughter. Thank you very much. All right, now that we have that. Interesting. Huh, it raises my defense by five somehow. Even though it's just doing vitality. So green leaf. Oh wait, no, you can't. Wait, yes, you can. Um, I mean, more agility would be would be nice. I don't know exactly where the best things, like what my best investments are right now. Because like the front line feels like something to to invest in, right? Cactus log. Though, generally speaking, the magic people tend to be a bit squishier, so maybe it's not a bad idea to, uh, to make them live a little bit longer with this. Because after all, the longer they live, the longer we live. So Orca's already fine. The Kukri, so. Alright, yeah. I think we're good there. Just need to make sure I have enough enough stuff to take a quick nap. Special service we offer our customer. You can store your items with us. Only a hundred N per item. Fuck you. <laughs> that's, that's what I say to that. Hey there, Dookie. You want some, uh, you want some new things to know about? No, no, the Georg Riders, please. Cool. Actually. Weird how it doesn't tell you anything more than, like, the description. Oh, wait, no, it does tell you the price, right? Sorry. I can't read, apparently. Okay. going. So in case it wasn't obvious, I named my characters after, <laughs> after a bunch of characters from Dot .hack. The, uh, the original name of my guild, because I did import it from the first game, uh, it's called the Dot .hackers, because I figured it, it's fun to have a theme. And their original name was just Addicts, because <laughs> I figured we'd just get addicted to, uh, to nonsense. please. I feel like ideally I should just provoke people. Okay. Keep going after the uh, these last so I'm I'm planning on trying to fight that foe. It will probably kick our butt. Let's be honest here, but. I would like to at least try, so trying to conserve TP. Oh, that's not good to miss there. Oh, whoops, wrong person. BT. Thankfully, care only costs three. See, this force thing, see, it says force 11. I wish I understood what that meant. Because this is force 4, and I don't 
know what that means either. Because it's not like the... No, it is here. I'm sure they'll probably explain it at some point. But... Hmm. This is certainly a dumb idea. Why don't we save first? You tread lightly through the forest, basking in the light pouring through the leaves. But after passing through an old ruin and entering a hall, you feel a strong presence. You peer into the next hall and witness a dreadful monster sitting in the room's center. You wonder, though, if it might be wounded. It doesn't seem to budge from its position. You ask yourself if you are confident enough in your skills to challenge the creature. If not, you muse, it might be best to walk away as quietly as you came. This two in each direction? Oh god, Gash Tor. I get the feeling this thing is gonna murder me. <laughs> how how bad is it? Why don't we preemptively cure? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it murders. Okay, cool, cool, very good. Your card. <laughs> oh, good. We we blocked it and still got killed. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. And his health is not going down very much. So yeah, this is a uh, a wait and deal with it later enemy. I just want to see if I can actually bind the damn thing. to listen to this distorted chaos music. No. <laughs> I'm good. The book said do not engage with the enemy in the hall. But I mean, if you tell me not to, of course I'm going to, you know? I mean, we can barely hold our own. Five, five adventures can barely hold their own against uh, these enemies, so... like main damage to do their best here and then have the little weaklings bop this one the head while it's still wounded oh darn i was hoping i was about to get a level up Ooh, there's a uh, a gathering point over yonder. I just saw it. Okay. So I know that I can paint it. Oh, really? 
No one in your path is go to gather materials. It's a take. Yeah. Oh, I wonder... Find the rock water and take it to the bar. I wonder if the rock water is take. Hmm. what I did last time. It is interesting to go from playing Ooh, Orca. Um, to go from playing with like high level characters in Entry Odyssey 1 to playing, you know, low levels again. <laughs> and not having healing touch between every battle and all the other niceties that one gets. <laughs> All right, the most exciting time of the day, level ups. So, Black Rose. Probably the Sword Mastery, it's up to five. Since like, you know, points are so limited, I don't really want to waste it by like upgrading things that I'm not actually going to use at all. So I'm going to raise Sword Mastery to 5, which technically allows for all slash, which is very likely worth getting, I think. Um, I kind of wonder about risk cut as well. But I think I might start putting points into axes as well so that we can unlock two hit. Cause that's what I did in the first game. I just went right away for two hit and I think that was worth it. Um, so I was thinking maybe I'll do that and then also maybe invest in counter cause more damage that way is, is worth it. And just kind of go for passive attacks for the time being while I debate with myself back and forth on if I'm going to do axes. All right, in the meanwhile though, Orca, um, I give him rear guard because we need, you know, it to get full guard eventually. Oh, he has HP regen. Restores a small amount of HP after every turn about. This feels worth getting. Easily. Easily this is worth getting. It also make my healer's job easier as well. So, um... Refresh is also definitely one we'll need. I like that poison is the, f like, well, not the first, but the second thing it heals, I guess. It's easier to get than like level five or six that it was before. Wow. Lowers TB to one at the final thing from eight. Well, from four technically, but still, that's impressive. Um, restores full HP and lowers it to 22. What is the 12? Okay. 12 and 18. So it almost feels like it's not even worth it to put points into healing considering that full heal can be brought down to 22. Full heal also, also gets you south 3. Which again you can lower to 50. Hmm. A max level solve 3 seems like a better investment than a max level solve 2. TP region, probably gonna want. Huh. I wonder if I should. <sighs> Maybe the gunner, if they have a take. Oh, they changed the way your Refresh and Purify work. So wait, Purify... 
18 the entire party and only has five levels to deal with everything that refresh does as well i think so hmm tricky but you have to get it to level five in the first place to get purify so you wouldn't be able to do curse confusion or petrify if you just kept doing that interesting but instead you put the other five levels i guess into this to get everything done for everyone at the expense of 18 tp which is pretty high considering that in the first game refresh was like five five or six i think for full party refreshing kind of crazy how uh how different it is um <sighs> I suppose I could just keep putting stuff into healer. Alternatively, more TP wouldn't be a bad idea. Right now we heal enough, so I think I'll, I'll go for the TP. Sakasa, um, again, tempting to get fire just to start covering our bases here. Could also have um, maybe A2 learn something like fire shot to get fire related things up. Meta shot, remove status elements from the entire party. Um, yes, please heal blind. Oh, this, yeah. And it's way cheaper. Getting shot by a gunner is a better way to remove status elements from the entire party and cheaper than it is to have an actual dedicated healer do it. That is so weird. But okay. So that's probably worth it. Um, it's tempting. It is tempting to kind of like let the alchemist ignore an element so we can invest in other things and then have something like the gunner take on the, the duty of doing like lightning damage or something like that. I don't know if I want to invest in fire because there's so many enemies that are weak to fire a lot of the time. Uh, and the gunner doesn't have or at least not that I can see, they don't have a, like, AoE. Seems worth it. Um, I'm probably gonna... I'm gonna keep going for mastery of things. The so Sukasa, this is the last one I need to figure out. Um... I suppose Volt would be good. Oh, we can learn fire damage up. Sorry, fire, physical damage up. Increased damage when using elements the enemy is weak to. See, this seems worth it as well for like easily definitely worth it you need tech up as well though interesting okay i mean tech up itself would be good um i do want to work towards having more elements under my alchemist's control though so perhaps i'll do fire up Almost, I thought about getting a take, but ultimately decided against it. I could make like, I could make a survivalist and then just have them like help. <laughs> just really, like bring them in for uh, moments like this. Okay, 
so it can't move, right? So I can just go around it. Yes. Listen, I'm not thrown about just ignoring an enemy either, but you saw what I did. Oh, hello. While exploring the labyrinth, you hear a call from behind. You turn and see a lone guard jogging in your direction. You guys are explorers, right? Asking you before, what are you doing back here? After telling him of your current errand, he nods and begins to speak. I know just the place, the southern area. It looks like a dead end, but you can't miss it. You thank the guard and begin a new year search for the spring. Oh, I think it might be that place that I marked before, perhaps. Unless it's like down this way, which would match his description as well, since technically it is to the south. Crawler has appeared. Ew. Do not want to see this anywhere near me. Ever. Leak to fire again. That was a lot of damage. Okay, well, hopefully you won't manage to kill it. Okay. Is, is this the place to take? a dead end but it's not yeah i think it's time with the place that i had marked previously and i think i'm just gonna i could auto but i i want everyone to focus fire and they don't always do that with auto so I assume this path probably leads to the, like, next floor. Also, this is a lot of enemies all at once. But we'll be okay, I think. As long as no one hits a critical. Tempting, very tempting to, uh, to heal. Ah, I think I've just found the, uh, exit. Yes, the ascension is here. I don't know if I can take those things on yet, though, or not. Hazardous habitat. Sounds about right. Kind of surprised that no guard like <laughs> ran out and was like, hey, you can't be here. Or something like that since I haven't completed my first errand yet.
Oh, this looks dangerous. I think I shall leave. I kind of want to finish the pro. Ooh, that implies. Have you all take care of this first and love her do her business because if this is the same type of thing as the uh, first game then killing this with magic oh orca needs help uh, killing it with magic should result in getting an eyeball I think Plus shark, yeah, okay. Not quite. Wait, does this connect back? Whoa, what are you? Oh, cactoid. Uh, you look kind of dangerous. Oh shit, I'm out. Lake shot, please. Yep, it's dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to be all right, but even then, his regular attacks probably faster. Whew. Well then. Cactus pen, huh? Interesting. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised at how big this room is. But again, uh, I'm gonna try to head downstairs before I get assaulted again. Cactoids are, are pretty dangerous, it feels. But in the meanwhile, I figure I, I can use. Let's see, how much money do we have? 271. We could use our Ariana thread. If we need to, to skedaddle back. Oh, interesting path. I wonder if those are going to lead like to something I need. This place seems no better than autoing at this point, but yeah, yeah, I say. Anyway, um, so besides seeing the Barbie movie, I finished. Oh wait, no, I didn't finish yet. I need to watch the last episode. Whoops, I forgot. I've nearly finished the adaptation of Near Automata, and I like what they've done so far in the last. Uh, well, the last three episodes that I watched, I have one more to get through. But I like the changes they made from the game. So, makes things interesting. Well, at point, you come across a large box. And in that box is a... Is something for a Ronin? Yeah. Yep, 25 attack. It's like they're telling me. Make a Ronin. I suppose I could have gone for like a Ronin, maybe instead of a Lanch Neck. It's just hard to say no to, uh, to the classes that you know work, you know? That is a lot of lads. Hmm. 
<laughs> nice. I don't really know if that's actually going to help me very much, but I'm at least grateful that it is doing something. At the very least, it probably means it attacks la No, it doesn't. Interesting. I'm thinking it would at least attack last. Fairly small floor. I do somewhat wonder if I should, uh, if I should be facing the wall on some things, look for like hidden paths and that kind of crap. Uh, and I suppose I could just probably just auto this, honestly. No black rose is in danger again. I think I'd rather pay the nap or uh, take a nap than deal with having to revive and expend all that money and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so according to the dude from before, the spring, I think, should be down this way into the right. To my right, to the, to the map's left. Okay, I think everyone's okay. Or could be not low though, it's not great, I think. You hear a faint gushing noise from behind the foliage. Seems that water from some natural source has found an outlet, creating a small stream. There's natural mineral water here. Take a moment to enjoy its cool, refreshing taste. After draining your flash, you fill it with the water flowing from the spring. Cool. Let me quick save. And, you know, get assaulted. That's also fine, too. No, no worries. No, no need to be concerned. Just a regular day. Everything one at a time. I mean, really, that's the only way you can, mostly, but still, for now at least. Good source of money, though. Though I am nearly out of TP. So, it's a good thing we're gonna head back and return this quest. Uh, I think it's, was it the sickle bar? Freeze oil. Look who's back. Yeah, got the rock water. Good job, bow done. Here's your reward. Thanks. Ah, here we go. See, it's a guild that can spare Lanch Decos or reach at least level two. Um, haven't I? Feeling for the job? Much obliged. You could have it in with the Duke. We got much details for you, but it sounds like they need a strong Lanch Deck. I'll learn that. The Duke's known to with might recall the trend about the whole affair. Try to pay well, and that's what counts, isn't it? But no get puffed up because they're looking for. Okay. There you go. I'm, I'm level two. That's your one, eh? Bet you got what it takes. Can we now leave the store with the rest of you and be back before long? Alright, back. It's all the hodgepodge light together. What a side crew. Get one trump to put together. Don't know what they're up to, but sit tight. They should be done soon. There you go. What was the big deal? They had you teach and sort play the green recruits. <laughs> Good job, whatever you did. They don't go to scrawny father you to touch them. Don't complain, neither will I. Good job. Sure. I'll take it. Um, still training yourself in a new weapon, they need materials to collect the wood for it. 
or look at it. It's hard to read three long pins. Okay, I think I have these. You take the job, eh? You're the only ones who've shown any interest. Craftsman video for a dog's age. It's a might hard, but damn good at his job. Makes cloth from animal skin, but it's tough needle piece of hides. Long story short, you kill this needle critter and bring back the spines. You shouldn't be too hard to find a BC to drop the long pins you need. Good luck. Oh, that were fast. Let's see here. One, two, three. Yeah, there's a reward for you. Easy. Now, what do you need? I knew you'd take the bait on this one. Just say weapon and the explorers come running. You know, still trading, of course. Dry goods just stand up front, exactly. Never seen sit on myself as a man who says the job, at least a workshop. Now, this one's for his girl, Abigail. She wants to, uh, to help you all out by making new weapons. How can you refuse a girl like that? Put it up straight away, but well, to be honest, I wasn't listening too close to ask what she needs. Sure. Hi. Materials? What about the wood bow? <laughs> I never make a request of cast before, so I wasn't sure if anyone would take it. My father's very busy, so I'll give you the materials myself. I need one bug wing and one bent twig. Once you have them, sell them to me. The reward is on the sale price. I get Wakazashi's. Hide gauge. And a jerkin. Very good. I don't really feel like I need the freeze oil. We could sell it. Mm. We'll see. We shall see. Hmm. I'm jerking. I mean, it's three, three more than I had previously. So, there's high gauge isn't bad either. Get some vitality. That would be worth it for Orca, maybe. Sleep till morning. And be content. And by be content, I mean I'm going to stop here. It's late. Um, I saw a movie. started streaming late because of it. And where it was good. I did, did a couple quests. One of the labyrinth. I'm content for now. So have a good rest of your night, everyone. Have a good rest of your day if you're watching this on the YouTube channel. Um, and just generally, I hope you all have a good weekend because my weekend doesn't start tomorrow, but you know, after I finish work tomorrow, it, it will. And I do think that tomorrow my plan for the stream will be to check out the Pikmin 4 demo. I thought about doing that tonight, but decided that there wasn't enough time as far as my limited consciousness goes. So I'm going to go shut that off now. Just, just kill the brain. And let me sleep. So take it easy and uh, have a good one. Bye for now. <laughs>